Let's work again in the lobby of this building and we want to add the floor but also have some tables that are made of glass so they are transparent so we want to see the floor beneath them. So a couple of things to understand. We have the underlay layer which is a paint layer coming from a, a rasterization let's say of the viewport and we also have the vector layers which are linked to the layers from AutoCAD. As you can see we can turn that off of course, we also probably need to turn on the, the underlay layer. And now we don't have the table, so it's going to be much easier to create, for example, a selection or directly the texture fill. Now, we've also seen that the control allows us to rotate and scale. The, the two from the side uh, of, of will allow us to make a rotation and a uniform scale. We can also create a non-uniform scale from the grip in the middle, and we could distort from the grips on the sides and the corners. So many ways to control those uh, those textures now that we've, we've we're done with this let's move the paint layer that we created in order to make the floor which is a very good way to organize be going to put that below so we can see the tables and now i also converted those tables into a vector layer once it is a vector layer sketchbook designer is has very simple ways to track the vector layers and make fills very very easily. So now we're just going to go to the solid fill. Let's select uh, the color we want. And now by simply just just hovering over those those vectors, Sketchbook will understand that what we want is to fill that shape which is a closed shape. So again, it's very very easy to do. If not, it would have involved a lot of selections and maskings to get to the same thing. And now I also want to remove the equipment because I want that in a separate layer for se se separate things. Why do I need to do that? Because now I want to add transparency to this. Before that, we will select support for those big tables and make it very, very, very thin and uh, with low intensity. So it kind of looks like it's behind the glass, right? So as you can see, great control over the the vectors. In this case, they're not linked to AutoCAD anymore, but I, I, I get the vector itself to, to work with. And now I can work with the opacity and I can also work with the blend. In this case, if I put multiply, it will try to blend the two, the content of the two layers. So with a nice mix of uh, both opacity and multiply blend, we get to what we want. Thank you very much.